around and it would come down to Aaron and Logan and some other random person. And one of the two of us would win every time because the random person sucked. But Aaron was awesome and I was awesome and I don't remember the third person's name. But as time went on, we learned what everybody learns if you stay involved in Poetry Slam for the right reason, which is the point are not the points. The point is not the points. The point is what? Poetry! It's the poetry and it's the community, y'all. Sooner or later, we quit being rivals and we started to become friends because that's what this thing does. It introduces you to people who you wouldn't normally meet. And I met Aaron, we slammed against each other, and then sooner or later we became friends. The summer that we were on, this team that went to the National Poetry Slam, which was 10 years ago this year. I don't know if you realize You're that. You're so old! Oh Damn. Dinosaur! I'm 62. And so, <laughs> this dude has gone on to do amazing time, things since that time. He does beatbox. He does music. He is the proprietor of an independent bookstore in the year 2014, which is pretty amazing. Lon Gnome Books and Publishing. You should check them out. They're right off Roosevelt Row. He is also a first-timer father. What? That's right. And this is his baby's first poetry slam. to babies and back again. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he's been all over the nation, but this is his first time here. Give him a big Tucson Youth Poetry Slam. Welcome to Mr. Aaron Johnson. Wow. I think if, uh, Logan's kid, though, competed against my kid in Poetry Sam, my kid would win. You don't know that! You don't know that! Just because she's older, we're <laughs> But they, they don't have to worry about that until they're 52, right? <laughs> 